morning. Um, yesterday I did three videos and then I um, set up to do a fourth video and the fourth video was um, going to be a healing field with some sound healing. And I did the video, I felt like it was um, probably the best healing video I felt I'd ever done. <clears throat> and then when I went to shut it off, I realized that it had never started, that, you know, you click the button, it has a red <clears throat> red circle, and you click the button, and it goes to a black circle, and then the video starts. But apparently, it hadn't ever started recording. And so that best video I had ever made was, like, in my in my mind. So this may <clears throat> may or may not be the um, best sound healing video that I've ever made, but it will be a sound healing vi video. And just briefly, I'll just mention that this morning um, I've been getting more consistent with doing breath work and uh, yoga in the morning. And this morning when I was doing my uh, the yogic exercises, which involve breathing, as most things do, I began feeling this constriction and the constriction felt like it was in my chest and there was places where I couldn't get my breath. And so those were the places I focused on creating space for whatever the tensions that I was holding there to release. And they released through sound and so I had about a 10 minute um, sound experience where I was doing these physical yoga postures. I was doing the specific breath work in those yoga postures and I was sounding the, the contraction of in my body. I was allowing the sound of that contraction to come out and um, 10 minutes later I felt like I could breathe much deeper. What I noted and really appreciated about it was that I did not get lost in the emotional content of the contraction. Because oftentimes when we have these contractions, we have these unresolved events with emotion stored to the contraction. And it was a new experience for me not to feel like the emotions of the release, but just to feel the release. Being aware that there were emotions in the release. So it felt like I had um, taken kind of a more of a large spacious um, observation of the release rather than releasing the emotions from the inside of the emotions I was watching the emotions release as if I was, you know, kind of, as I just, as if I was holding space for the emergence of myself, kind of being my own midwife. So I, I did an attuned, uh, a reading from attuned this morning, and I felt like the next thing I wanted to do was to do some more sound healing work um, <clears throat> and notice the areas within my own body that feel contracted um, and I'm noticing a lot. I'm noticing in the head being a contraction in the head. Also up in the upper part of the chest there may be other places and I may point to the areas that I'm um, I feel like the sound is coming from because oftentimes the sound emerges out of the area that the contraction is residing in. You may want to just um, state out loud that you connect with your deep self, that you connect with your higher self, that you ground yourself to the healing center of the earth, that you open yourself to the healing power of the one consciousness, 
that you let go of anything not useful to you now and that if you wish to have the Hathors assist you in releasing the energy through the sound, just state, I choose to work with the Hathors. You might also state that I, I enclose myself in a field of protection while I do this healing work. Okay.
Hey, hope that serves you well. We've got the black button, so it was recorded. Now let's go. <laughs> 